for boys and girls. One odd girl viewer watching my YouTube channel. I don't know why this happened. I'm gonna go my lantern right next to me. Sort of fire. Ha, 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 ha. I didn't mean it to say it like that. I mean, like, it looked nice. I'm gonna stop using fire because I think that's. I'm not actually stupid, but. I think that's quite. Um, not necessarily unprofessional, but. Nah, who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. What I want to talk about today is how to stop your overconsumption of social media and phone usage. I think your phone usage. Like the amount of phone usage that you have in terms of hours on social media platforms for the most part directly correlates to how unhappy you are. Because if you are on social media, let's say you're a, you're a girl, for example, you're on social media and you constantly see these girls that are 10 times prettier than you, have 10 times better asses and bodies than you, they have a much better life than you, they have a nicer boyfriend, a nicer husband, everything, bigger family, etc. etc. When you look on social media, you become susceptible to these forms of information and you kind of just make yourself, make yourself and your brain devolve into nothing more than a person in constant, dreary, self-deprecating FOMO. And if you don't know what FOMO is, it's fear of missing out. You, f you feel like you're missing out on something. You feel like you're missing out on something big. And you're like life isn't good enough and you feel like you need to chase something more like you're gonna get into a new relationship, for example. You're gonna go through your whole phase, sleep around, etc., etc. These girls were gonna have so much, so much fun. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe if I go to the whole phase, I'll be hanging out as far as them. Stupid. Same with guys on social media as well. You see guys like Iman Gaji, who are 23, who's incredibly rich and wealthy and affluent, powerful, and you become quite envious because he lives an amazing life, an extraordinary, an extraordinary life. It's quite jealousy mongering. I think it's the best word to put it. It's not even a real word, but it's jealousy mongering. It's kind of just, kind of just like it steals FOMO into people. I can't keep thinking of this guy who told me that my speech was incoherent. So I'm trying to make my speech more eloquent and coherent, so it sounds better. But Without the pauses, I kind of don't even know what to say. I need to give myself time to think. So what the fuck? What the fuck, man? So what the fuck am I supposed to do? And the incoherent thing, you could argue Elon Musk is incoherent. You could argue Stephen Hawking is incoherent. Does that take away from the intelligence? No. So I don't know what this guy John Jay John Jay was coming from. And he had the audacity to say, I think, may God bless your soul. <laughs> This guy got me. <laughs> this guy got me. <laughs> it's funny. I, mean, I, mean, I, I could be laughing to cope. I don't know. I just find it genuinely funny that someone would say that. It's quite, quite eye opening. I intensely feared the entire time about a hate comment about making videos. But then after getting it, I was like, it's not that bad. I get a hundred more. People will probably. People will clown you no matter what you do, you know, no matter what you do, people will clown you, so it's inevitable. Anyways, back on the main topic of the video, how to stop your overconsumption of social media and phone usage, all these type of negative, bad habits, how do you stop them? Well, it requires a conscious effort, a conscious effort. For most of the times you've been alive on these social media platforms, you've been unconscious, mindlessly scrolling. Probably can't even watch this fucking video in its entirety. We're like, I don't know, four minutes in? Oh, how much is this mean? We're four minutes in, damn. Big guess. We're four minutes into this video. What are the chances of you watching this video in its entirety? Not getting distracted, or opening another tab, or seeing that there's some fucking weird Asian kid on the, <laughs> under the camera, and deciding just to pop off, click on another video, or pop off, pop on another Insta gratification, mindless entertainment type of video. It requires a conscious effort you to take a step back. These companies don't die if you take a step back. You, you won't die if you take a step back from watching those stupid mukbang videos of where we fucking watch. You won't die, you'll be fine. And after you take a step back, take good a good whole day, if at most a week, to just sit 
and think without your phone, without your tablet. I got my tablet for reading. Without your phone, without your tablet, or any of these platforms, and just think. Give yourself leeway to just for your mind to just breathe. That, that John Jay can come at you again. Hey, John Jay, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this guy got me, man. <laughs> I'm gonna film another video responding to that video now. It's like it's 30 seconds, so I'm taking a I had a contact for click me. <sighs> I'm really fucking cold and tired. So that's how you beat all your overconsumption. You need to have a conscious effort in the beginning. Put it put this shit down. Put your phone down. Turn off your computer. Turn off your tablet. Snooze your computer. Mute your phone. Airplane mode. Airplane mode the tablet too. Disconnect the Wi-Fi. See how you function till then. Any social media app, uninstall and never look back. I haven't used Instagram a single time since I've uninstalled it over two years ago. Probably once. At most in two years. Two, three years, roughly on the mark. Snapchat, don't use. Uninstall. WhatsApp is the only thing I use. And YouTube as well. What was so Twitter I don't use. I don't know that shit a year ago. No, it was 2021. Two years ago, again. Instagram, I think before that. I think it was 2020 I uninstalled. Or 2019, I decided I don't like Instagram anymore. And I decided to uninstall it. It's been three years since Instagram. And two years since Twitter. And Snapchat, it's been a good two years, I believe. Or one and a half year. No, I think it's been two years already. It's time pretty very quick on that. And then after that, I think I didn't really use any other social media platform from YouTube and WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is to talk to my family and my friends, and then to talk to clients, customers for business, and then YouTube for my entertainment again. I try to approach YouTube with an educational point. Like even I'm not perfect in this. I'm trying to like develop a plan, you know, like a like a, a autistic step by step easy to follow plan and I'm making it easy to follow uh, because if I make it easy to follow you really have no excuse to relapse again because that's the easiest shit ever so I'm doing it that way so I don't need to stop doing that that, that John Jay guy was, it, it was right man I am incoherent hey fuck you John Jay he was fucking telling me the truth <laughs> May God bless your soul. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, I think social media is one of the greatest cons of modern day. It is so bullshit. Like, all of it is so bullshit. I hate all of it. And that isn't me like, oh, I hate modern technology. I think modern technology is a blessing. It's beautiful. I thank all the entrepreneurs that have made it. All the inventors that have made it. This camera, I'm speaking of, created by an entrepreneur. This battery, created by an entrepreneur, businessman, inventor. This tablet, entrepreneur, businessman, inventor. This phone, entrepreneur, businessman, inventor. My tissues in a packet, entrepreneur, business. I'm glad they're rich. I am glad, legitimately, but <sighs> these modern devices, a lot of the time they can only work against you, and if you use them for work and business, talk to your family and friends and purely productive for a while, and then sometimes, like once a week or once a month, you decide, hey, I'm going to be a spoke for a little bit, fine, sure, but the reality of the situation is, the majority of people do not behave this way, and because it's the fact that the majority of people do not behave this way. The fact remains is that social media continues and will be forever a plague to society and your brain and your soul. You feel FOMO on that shit. Like I've saying before, you feel FOMO with the example. Guys are richer than you, bigger house, more women, fitter, better shape than you. It's no wonder that like, a lot of people struggle with their fitness journey. I don't necessarily struggle with it because I don't have any Instagram or any of these social media platforms. And when I do see someone who's fitter than me, I'm like, yeah, I'll get there in training in time. Like Mike, uh, Matt does fitness. After 10 years of training, I probably would look like that. 
That's the way I go about it. Ten years, come on. People would be like in the comments, well, ten years is no guarantee that your genetics and uh, maybe you got muscle and this uh, muscle surgeons and your testosterone. Shut up, man. These keyboard warriors. <laughs> Just like, grab you through the fucking <laughs> through the camera and choke your ass. Fucking choke your ass. Now I I believe that taking a step back is probably one of the best things I've ever done in my, my entire life. Ooh. <laughs> taking a step back on social media is probably one of the best things I've done in my entire life. I feel much more complete and of course, I faced a lot of issues, like stressful issues, like what am I doing in my life, etc. That's some tough questions. But I think these tough, tough questions help you grow. Remember, how work is easy. Sweet. How long is this video? It's 11 minutes. Short ass video, man. You guys want to see my plants? Look, he grow. He grows. He. <laughs> grew too much. Hey, man, this John guy is on my mind. He's living rent-free in my brain. I got four plants. These, it used to be like just one plant and it just mutated into multiple. Crazy. I need to separate some of these plants as well so I can get more plants. I love plants, guys. I'm pretty sure there's aloe vera in this. Nah. Is there? It's not aloe vera plant. Um, can you eat aloe vera? I'll, I'll give you that one myself a bye guys, catch you in the next, next video. I'm gonna upload like 15, 30 videos in like one, one shot. More for you guys, bye bye.